Okay, mage card, we start off straight away. Can you poison face? Obviously. We start off straight away with this. This is one of the best cards of the set. That's like an insta five. I don't even care what you say. I don't know if spell damage mage is going to be good enough. But this card stand alone as a five. You guys say four, four to five, four. So played in meta decks or meta defining. Maybe it's just played in. See, I'm going to say it's played in meta decks and it defines them. I think it's one of those things you play in meta decks, and if you didn't have this card, you wouldn't play the meta. You wouldn't play that deck, which technically would make it meta defining. No, not just played in the deck. Like I don't think if there's a spell damage mage that goes around, if there's a spell damage mage that goes around, you can't play it without this, which would technically make it defining, right? Like you have to. Like it wouldn't be strong without this. It wouldn't win games without this. It's a one mana one three with an upside that's with synergy. It just I think it's an insta five lab partner, one of the best cards of the set. Uh, I'm gonna say it. Uh, and I'm gonna look like an idiot when it sucks. But <laughs> Talon and Mage cries. Will Halloran and Mage still be a thing? Maybe. Um, I don't think I got any big spells, but it seems pretty good. Firebrand, do four damage randomly split among enemy minions. So this only goes off once. It's spell burst. It's not like it's not. It's not quite Flame Waker. It's not as good as Flame Waker, obviously. But it's like this. It's. it's so you play one spell and you basically get two Flame Waker charges, but then you can't get any more. Uh, it's a three mana three four. Four damage. It's all only hits minions, so it's better than Flame Waker there as well as removal. This seems insane, no? It's like an insta four or a five. Like I think it's not. I think you can win games without it, so I think it's a four. But it seems really strong. It has premium stats. It's solid removal with spells. So you play a spell, say. Say your opponent has like set seven health on board. You play Firebrand, you go Brain Freeze, full clear. It seems pretty strong. I'm going to go four, four or five. It's a four. I'm going to four, but it's probably a five. Cram Session. Three. Mm. On average, how many draws do you get by this realistically? So realistically, I think this is overrated. In hindsight, it looks insane. You're like, ah, I can play Maligos and draw like seven cards or six cards. And math is hard. Um, but you gotta remember, it's not like other draw cards. The, the reason Arcane Intellect was so good, or is good, is because you spend one card to draw two cards. So you have a net gain of one card. With Cram Session, you have to play a minion every time. Unless you're playing the five drop guy who like, you know, the insane five drop legendary. Unless you're playing that. Um... Then really you're, I don't know, I feel like you're having to spend a card to draw a card. So you play three spell damage minions, play this. You've spent four cards and you've drawn four cards. Which just makes it really bad. So I'm going to go with like, prob probably unplayable. It's a one or a two. I may even go one. I don't think this fits it. I'll go two just, just to cover my bases in case it's good. But I'm pretty sure it's a one. Because just spending cards to gain cards seems weak. I'm going to go one. This card looks really underrated. Like, this card looks severely underrated. I don't know why no one's hyping this up. No one, no one's talked about this card at all. Um, like, no one's talking about this card. Can we just talk about how many stats this is? Like, it's a, it's a 6 mana, 5, 12. It's a damaged Stegatron without the damaged part. It's a 6 mana, 5, 12. Like, can we just... Like, I don't even care what the mana worms... The mana worms have an upside. Like, the mana worms have an upside... This has got to be insane, no? Like, surely this card is good. Dude, I'm going to go 4 again. Uh, it's 4 or 5. Surely this card is good, though. It's just so much stats. Like, I don't even care that the Mana Worms scale. It's a 5 mana 3 6, hard to remove. Like, good stats. That makes 1 mana 1 3s, which scale. Like, yo, it's a wire. I feel like it's a 4 or 5. This just has the Giga stats, like... High mana cost. This is true. Comes in the mid game. I think it's a bit slow. You evolve into this, you just insta win games though. Like rogue, evolve lucky, backstab, easy game. Devoted maniac, evolve lucky, backstab, GG. I think it's pretty strong. I don't know. It's just a lot of stats. It's not a battle cry. So yeah, you play on turn six most of the time. Six mana five twelve. Damage Stegatron. We take those right. Like that's a lot of stats. I don't know. Combustion. Deal four damage to a minion, any excess damage both in both neighbors. So you have about three different outcomes with this. You shadow bolt something, then in which case it's a one star. 
you hit something that has three health and you do one to each side in which case it's two star because three and then cleaving for one is bad you have three things for two and then it's three star because if you think you think if you had three things like against like satyr then it's like pretty good if you had three things for two or you have something for one and have two things on the side for three in which case it's probably about three star as well so i'd say it's a three i think it's slightly overrated in the fact that how many times by turn three like let's compare it to dark skies it's never better than dark skies dark skies is an insta five it's never better than dark skies it's good against demon hunter because you kill like satyrs and stuff really nicely like they go battle mage and then like i don't know like umberwing or like satyr it's pretty good but overall i don't think i see it synergizing with anything except maybe a one-off in highlander so like it does scale well with spell power this is true because it's excess okay we'll give it a three the spell power the spell power like i'm gonna go with three because like people will punish it does punish bad positioning but i feel like over time it'll get stronger yo thanks for the problem man. uh i don't know why there's no alert box i should have it i've got it turned off um yeah i think it's like so we've got shadow bolt but shadow bolt's giga bad if we have the scale of how strong cards are shadow bolt is here playable cards are here if it's a better shadow bolt it can just go to like here it's still not playable yet shadow bolt is giga trash uh, i'm gonna say three mozaki mozaki master duelist 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 um there's gonna be some dumb like apprentice combos like 100 percent. there's gonna be someone with an apprentice and an evocation and a dream who just goes like the stats are so good like this this effect is nuts and the stats are nuts like i feel like you can just play it on five and it survives way so like way too often it's just never bad yeah yeah you play in cyclone mage uh where are the jewel class cards at i think they come at the end i'm not sure though uh i don't know why the jewel cards are like no there it's just cheap maligos yeah i think it's an insta five like it just has stats it sticks it you play apprentice you play, like it just they like it sticks and they just die really good with like a lot of the cards you can even play it with cram session draw a bunch of cards if this card is good um no i think this is this is it's a pretty much a five right we just we just agree this is a five with raz and with with so much other stuff for sure it's a five paladin let me let me um okay mage and rogue dual class cards we have one thief now, One Thief is one I saw earlier. And I saw One Thief and I was like, damn. Originally, I was like, this card is good. And then I realized, this card isn't that good. Um, That's all, folks. The reason this card isn't that good and rogues... Let's go with this go both classes in between. It's okay. It's not insane. I thought it was insane. It's not insane. You can't play this on one. Not being able to play this on one is sad. As rogue. You don't really want to put it on two either, because you want to be daggering on two or like spy skyveteering on two. Like and to put it on two you'd have to have two one drops. So then you have to have three one drops for it to be good. So like it's bad on one. It's kinda bad on three. Like it, is it good on three? Maybe with like maybe you go backstab miscreant on three and then you can play it on four? So you can play it on four? Ah uh... hmm. I think it sees playing rogue. I think it goes in rogue just because mage spells are powerful. Because having removal, really strong removal like this. Blaze and power on the time from the zero mana spell. Oh, true. You can play first day of skill and then get one thief. Dude. You can play this, get one thief, and then you get free mage spell. Oh, POP. Okay. <laughs> if you're that lucky, it's like a five. But I'm going to go three. And mage, you probably play it because you don't care about one drops anyway. You just care about the discover. Wait, do you play it in mage? Is it better than arcane breath? Do you like, do you cut arcane breath for this or do you run both? Because I don't think you run this in mage. I feel like you just run the mage spells you want. But like having random mage spells is versatile. Discover is good. It's a three or four. I'm gonna go three. I think it's cool though. Brian freeze. Who is Brian and why is he frozen? Um. Overrated. It's a two. Reason it's a two. If you're freezing a minion, you're not really looking to kill it, are you? Like, if you're freezing a minion, these all activate Vendetta, by the way. 
don't all of these dual class cards activate Vendetta? Like, um, like I know it's Brain Freeze. I'm trolling, by the way. <laughs> I didn't actually think it's. I didn't actually think this green guy here was called Brian. Oh, here's Brian. <laughs> yeah, it's Red Brian, man. Look, she's got a frozen Brian. I'm gutted. Uh, <laughs> that's the joke. Did they not activate Vendetta? Okay. <laughs> Damn, this guy. Uh, we really offended someone called Brian in chat. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm so I'm sorry, Brian. <laughs> um, the, the ogre, the green ogre called Brian. The, the, stop distracting me from reviewing these cards by naming <laughs> Brian. No. <laughs> Dude, can we unfreeze Brian, please? Sorry, sorry. Dude, I may just wait. Let's not get distracted. <laughs> Okay, this is my new favorite lore character. He's called Brian, and he's he's green, and he's in an ice cube. Um, ah, right. Let's not get distracted. Um, this card is good because it activates Vendetta. This is true. Uh, this card is is this is Brian, and Brian is a two. <laughs> Oaks officially lost it. You try talking nonstop for three and a half hours, reviewing cards, and trying to still keep it together. Um. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Uh, freezing isn't that good when you want to, like, kill stuff anyway, right? Like, combo is to, to kill stuff. To an empty room. Yeah, on my own. In the dark. When it's, like, storming outside. Trying to review. Stop getting distracted. It's going to be... The YouTube video quality is just going to go down. as like, you get down the reviews if anyone makes it past video one. Um, dude. Uh, also deal three damage to it. I think this is, like... Not that good. I think Ray Frost is just better. You don't cut Ray Frost for this. You don't run it in Rogue. So in which case it's... Maybe you run it in Rogue. Maybe you run it in Rogue. One mana deal three damage in Rogue. Holy Smite-ish. It's like a combo Holy Smite. Combo Holy Smite's not bad. The Freeze is pretty irrelevant. So one mana Holy Smite. Holy Smite in Rogue. If you could run Holy Smite in Rogue right now, would you? I'm going to say no. I think Spy Mistress is better. Spy Mistress does the job better. And Ray Frost does the job better. So as comp competition goes, it's actually a one. Sorry, Brian. But you are a one star card. Potion of Illusion. I saw Dead Drug give this a 5. And you know what? I respect it. He's got big balls. Uh, I don't know if this is a 5. Like, this card is... It's either insane or garbage. It's like another one of those cards. It's like 1 or a 5. It's either dumb, OTK, broken, Antonidas, like, game's over, everyone hates Hearthstone again. Can When is the next expansion out? Or it's... Who's ever going to play this card? It's Echo of Medivh kind of thing without... Like... I'm going to go with a 4. But this is... It could easily be a 1. Like, if this... I really don't want this to be good. If this one is good, everyone's going to be like... High Stone Dead Game. I can't wait for December or November when the new expansion comes out. If you're marking Zed, it's a 5. If you're looking at anyone else, it's a 1. I would agree. I would agree. So I go 4. Jandis Barov. So Jandis is a really cool card. I think Jandis is really strong. I think Jandis is a 4. I think it will get played in Rogue and Mage. Um, one of the good cards that will get played in both. Uh, it's a 4 or 5. It's a lot of stats. I agree. 5, maybe just because of the mana cost and 5 cost. I can't really give it a 5. She thick. She do be kind of thick. And I feel like a lot of people are going to get caught in the trap where they're like, ha, I'm going to be really big brain and I'm going to pick the highest health one to die, because my opponent will never expect it. I'm so smart, and then they're just going to kill your big minion, you're going to cry. You literally always pick the small minion here. Don't get debated by trying to be smart. There's going to be so many people trying to be smart, especially in big tournaments. People who have never done it before are going to be like... Um, they're going to be like, ah, I can be so smart here. Jandis is kind of like former champ, but you also get like a... So it's a 2-1, plus you get a 5-drop, plus you get a, a, like an X... Uh, a 5 and X or whatever. Like, sorry, sorry. An X and 1. So, like, a n attack with, like... You can pick stealth minions. You can get... Like, what if you pick St Stranglethorn Tiger? And then you give the Tiger 1 attack and it's, like, OP. I think it's just a lot of stats. You can evolve it. You can shadow step it. It's a rubbish evolve into, but it's really good to evolve off of. Especially because 6 drops are strong. You can... You can evolve this into, like, it's super strong with Evolve Lackey. It gets played in Rogue. You get a lot of Evolve Lackeys. Me, I only roll Draconic Lackeys, so it's kind of irrelevant. But I think it's pretty good. You get three Jandises. <laughs> OP, OP. Um, five drops do have pretty good stats. And you can discover. You, you. Oh, no, they're random. You don't discover. I still think it's pretty good, though. 
run of five drops on average are probably like four fours. It's, it's a lot of stats. It's like a four four and a four one, assuming because one of them dies to one. Like it's four four and a four one and a two one. Like it goes wide, it goes high. It, it, it's good. Let's move on. Uh, if you've made it to the end of the video, this is the outro that's coming out. Every single card review that I do, I guess for forever, <laughs> just reuse this on every video. Uh, if you're new, please drop a like, subscribe. Check out my stream at twitch.tv slash liquidox with a couple of underscores or some, some whatever. Oh, this is great. Um, and yeah, turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I go live. Will it be next week? When I go live? When I post a video? Will it be next week? Will it be next month? Will it be tomorrow? Who knows? You'll know if you have the bell on. So yeah, have a good day. Stay hydrated. Go outside a bit. Peace.